It takes quite a bit of time to set up this luncheon, get the speaker, take the reservations, get the room set up, and I always think that Tim and Barbara do such a good job, and so do their team, so if we could thank them, please. I would also like to thank Rick Heelan and Bill Foley, our archivist for films, because they have shared with us today some of the films from our archive. The next thing on the agenda is a bit of a surprise and a fun thing we're going to do. We have a Pioneers member named Leota Jet Kuzma who turns 100 years old this week. And we invited her to join us, but she could not because she's 100 years old this week. <laughs> Yes. She's in Vegas, I'm told. <laughs> well, what I wanted to do was tell you a little bit about Leota and then ask you all to sing happy birthday to her. We're going to videotape it and then we're going to take it to her so she can see it. <laughs> Leota was born to George and Anna Harkin on June 15, 1912 in St. Louis, Missouri. Do we have any other Missourians in the house? One. We only have one. Her family moved to San Jose when she was just a young girl. Her father worked at Hendy Ironworks in, in Mare Island. Anybody here have people worked at Hendy Ironworks? Yeah, my, my grandfather did. Because she remembers taking the horse and buggy out to Evergreen to visit her grandparents, and she remembers camping and hunting on Mount Hamilton. I'm sure she probably wrestled a couple of mountain lions on <laughs> She's lived in Willow Glen since 1958. So, if you could all join me in singing happy birthday to Leota, I would appreciate it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. a special award. It's the Outstanding Service Award for the California Pioneers of Santa Clara County. And this is going to be presented to the person who I believe worked the hardest in the last six months for the Pioneers and took on a project which is a lot of work, which is the journal or newsletter of the Pioneers entirely because of the great efforts of Gail Frank. Yeah. Service Award for Jim Zetterquist. <laughs> Jim is getting a special Outstanding Service Award because when he was the president of this organization, he brought this group to a level that it had never been to before. He is a tireless advocate for the pioneers. He was before he was president, he was when he was president, and even after he's no longer president, he still is one of the major, major forces who does a lot of the work for the pioneers. So Jim, if you could come up and be recognized by our group. You hear me, God. Thank you. Next, I would like to uh, thank April Halberstadt for sharing the essay contest this year. We uh, have our winner amongst us, and his name is Dr. Mike Shea. We we're really glad to have him on board, and his essay was uh, phenomenal. We really enjoyed reading it. All of the readers, uh, seven of us, uh, loved his essay. So at this time, I'd like Dr. Shea to come forward to get his award, his $500 check. 
which is the